Good morning, everyone. We thank God this morning for the gift of life. We thank him for um, waking us up and um, giving us that um, urge to come to worship together, to come and um, interact with our fellow faithful um, believers. Um, indeed, God is good and he's um, faithful and we shall continue to um, just follow him just be close to him and just um, embrace him. He loved us first and um, we shall continue trying, reading his word, getting close to him, wanting to have that um, good relationship with him, that good fellowship with him because indeed he's our savior. And um, he died for us. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you that you are who you are in our lives. Thank you that you give us the peace and strength. In the circumstances, in whichever circumstances that we are going through. Thank you that... Um, you have told us that um, if we just keep under your wings, Lord, you shall prevail and all shall be well. Let us pray. God, thank you. We want to thank you this morning. Each, one of the, each and every one of us want to thank you for who you are in their lives, Lord. Thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for the gift of family. Thank you for the gift of the um, the believers' family, Lord, because they support us. We thank you for what you have um, given us and what you have promised us, Lord. And we believe that it shall come to, to be. So this morning, we just want to come before you with a thankful heart and with a heart of worship. We want to give you praise. We want to give you honor. We want to glorify you because you are neighbor God. Thank you, God. Each one of every one of us represented here and even the one who listened to the recording later. We all have circumstances in our lives, joyful ones, solo for ones, issues that we need to overcome, Lord. But you know all of them because you know the past, you are in the present and you know the future too. We want to present them into your hands, Lord, and um, ask you to guide us and help us. You said you'd set the Holy Spirit to be our guide and you know you did, but sometimes they Whatever is around us prevents us from listening to, to it. There is so much clutter. There is so much noise. But this morning, we want to um, ask you to help us so that we may clear our lives and clear our minds so that we can hear what the Holy Spirit has to say. Thank you, God, for giving us the Holy Spirit to be our guide and to help us. Thank you that you are able and thank you that uh, we can rely on you to help us in all circumstances that we are in. Guide this fellowship as we worship you and may it be, bring you honor. And may it, may it be our show of from us to you of our love and respect and awe of you. And it's in Jesus' name we pray and believe. Amen and amen. Um, so we thank God um, for what he has been for us this week, the encouragement and um, whatever we have gone through. 
and um, for giving us that courage to just accept things that um, may be beyond our understanding. And sometimes it's not even accepting, it's just that step, day-to-day -day step of getting to that place of understanding. And as I was meditating on the situation, and especially um, thinking of Anne and Pastor Julia and their family, Isaiah um, 40, five came to mind. And I just want to read it so that um, all of us who are going through difficult situations may be encouraged. Um, so it's a year 55 from verse 8. And I'll read all the way to the end of that chapter. And I'm reading from the Living Water Bible. And, and so um, verse 8. My thoughts are completely different from yours, says the Lord, and my ways are beyond anything you could imagine. For just as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my, way, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts higher than yours. The rain and snow come down from heavens and stay on the ground to water the earth. They cause the grain to grow, producing seed for the farmer and bread for the hungry. It is the same way with my word. I set it out and it always produces fruit. It will accomplish all I want it to and it will prosper everywhere I send it. You will live in joy and peace. The mountains and hills will burst into song, and the trees of the fields will grab their hands. Where once there were thorns, cypress trees will grow. Where briars grew, martyrs will sprout out. This miracle will bring great honor to the Lord's name. It will be the everlasting sign of his power and love. So it says that um, where there were thorns, cypress will grow, and where there was prayers, martyrs will sprout. This miracle will bring great honor to the Lord's name, and it will be an everlasting sign of his power and love. And so it says also, uh, my thoughts, the, lo the Lord God's thoughts, are completely different from ours and his ways are beyond our understanding and anything we could imagine. But what we know is that God has promised us that um, he is good to us and everything later we shall see the whole picture and understand or maybe not understand the reason why, but he has said that live in joy and peace and he will give us that joy and peace. And we shall have that joy and peace because that's our belief. And that's what we have, um, um, that's what he has promised and that's what we'll take. So um, let us go to the next session and um, listen to some words of encouragement through music, through worship. And um, Alice, if you could um, please play the songs. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for... Your word of comfort towards us, Lord. 
เอ็นนี่เป็นรดอืมไม่ใช่ไอ้สมมติว่ามันมันปีประเดี๋ยวนู้ going through a very rough patch of time โอ้ยพี่นู้ you are close by we thank you Lord that Lord you feel what we feel you understand the situation our emotions and Lord you allow us To you know, go through it and to learn to trust in you. We know you're not far from us, and you know we can call upon you. I thank you, Lord. We you can know, claim your healing upon us, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Just as yeah, over the weekend, just feeling a little bit also emotional when you hear news that comes from your phone that tells you someone, um. You know that has lost a parent, and someone that has is going through the season of losing another loved one. You know, it's just a matter of days of losing. So it's been yeah quite a rough time. You know, for us as believers, it may not be someone that is within my biological family, but yet as a body of Christ, when this happens, we do feel it. You know, we're we're human, and just. Uh, it was just God remind me of this um Psalm Psalm seventy three Psalm seventy three verse twenty one onwards. Sometimes when we go through um you know the loss of a dear one and we don't understand that I I just felt Psalm that seventy three verse twenty one onwards. It speaks of the situation. That we will go through. Sometimes we go through a period of um, anger because we don't understand what the Lord is doing. Um, sometimes we we just upset with the Lord, you know. And yet, it's the promise that the Lord is with us. Um, I'll read the NLT version. And um, Psalm seventy three, verse twenty one, um, NLT version. Then I realized that my heart was bitter, and I was all torn up inside. I was so foolish and ignorant. I must have seemed like a senseless animal to you. Yet, I still belong to you. You hold my right hand. You guide me with your counsel, leading me to glorious destiny. Whom have I in heaven but you? I desire you more than anything on earth. My health may fail. And my spirit may grow weak, but God remains the strength of my heart, and He is mine forever. So that's uh, that's till verse twenty six. So just remember, you know, um, whether what our heart, you know, condition may be, we go through the in that emotional um roller coaster. But remember. The word says, "I still belong to our heavenly Father, and He is still holding your know, my right hand." You know, He said, "God, God promised to guide guide me. He will guide me with His counsel, and therefore, my heart desire You, Lord, more than anything on earth." And you know, our body will waste away, our spirit grow weak, grow weak. You know, if we have seasons when our sometimes our spirit go up. You know, we're high, and you know, we we are very um strong in a lot. But there are times, you know, our spiritual health health goes down. Um, but the Lord, you know, He remains our strength, and He remains faithful, and He you we are claimed, um, we are claimed by Him. You know, we we are marked by Him. And we have a destiny, a very fulfilling and good purpose in our life. So I just want to pray for my friends that are going through tough situation and and struggle with understanding. Um, Lord, just I thank you for your word that says, Lord, whatever happens, I am yours. Each of us, your children, whatever situation in life you go through, we are yours. We are marked. As a child of God, and therefore a father never abandons 
our Heavenly Father never abandons that ch His child, no matter what the situation may be, no matter how dire situation may be, you will never leave us alone. You are always with us. When our knees are unable to carry us and walk, you lift it up, you carry us. You will never let us fall. Lord, of all things, Lord, we just ask, there are things that, you know, for those who are going through a rough patch right now, things that they may not understand. My Lord, we just trust in you. We don't need to understand because, Lord, you know it all. The Father knows it all. The child just need to trust the Father. And, Lord, you will be with us. You have said, Lord, that you will not leave us, you will not forsake us. So in this struggling situation, Lord, for those who I know, who we know, who we carry the burden in our heart, there are windows that are waiting for answers from you. And Lord, despite sometimes the answer not coming through, we may not understand why, but we know that you are still a good God. And they'll, they'll, you know, they will still continue to trust in you no matter how complicated the situation be. Our mind will be angry, our heart may be angry with you, but Lord, in the end, Lord, let us, Lord, just say, Lord, heal us. We submit to you, we surrender to you. Heal us, Lord. And Lord, you pray your loving arm to comfort people who are watching their loved ones going off. You know, um, watching the elephant passing by from here, from the world, even to eternity. Lord, we know our security is in eternal life, but yet for people on this earth who are watching it, Lord, it's hard. It's hard to see it happen and to have experienced that pain of losing someone. So, Lord, just remember the people that are close to our heart that are going through this, Lord. Lord, be close to them, comfort them in this season. And we know our hope is in Christ Jesus and I hope we will be reunited once more when we meet each other in heaven and help us, Lord, to continue to look upward, not the things of this earth, but to look upward, Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus. We thank you, Lord, for your word that reminds us, the Bible, that your truth, that reminds us, Lord, whenever we are in doubt, when we open the Bible, your promises is there to continue to remind us that you are there with us. You understand you are not leaving us alone, but your word is the one that we cling on to, your word, your word, Lord. In your presence is with us. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Indeed, God, we are very thankful. And thank you. Um, we are very encouraged in knowing that. In all circumstances, Lord, you are listening. Even when we don't feel it, you are there. Even when we don't see it, we are there. you are there. So all the people who are going through um, hard time, who are going through dif difficult situations, Lord, let them know that you are there. And indeed, you are there. And... Um, for me, sometimes what happens is that when I'm going through a hard time, I ask God to give me that um, spirit of thanksgiving. I want me, him to help me to um, concentrate and meditate on all the good that he has done for me. Because as we know, um, when we um, concentrate 
and meditate on the good. Our lives, our spirits lift up and we feel better. But the devil has um, the ability or he lets us think of all the negative all the time in our situations. We feel our situation is even dire than it is. It's even worse than it is. And um, it just becomes a negative loop in our heads of thinking about that which is wrong, that which is not right. But, and then in that process as well, we may forget um, that um, God is able and is in control. And we try and take things in our, in our hearts and try to fix things with our human mind. So this morning, we just want to ask God to help us so that we can go into that spirit of um, being thanksgiving, uh, being thank thankful, thinking of all the um, times that he has seen us through, thinking of all the miracles that he has, he has um, given us in our lives. Because sometimes we think of miracles and we think of major things. But sometimes it's just day-to-day day -day situations that we are in that um, you realize you didn't know how you passed it, but you did pass it. You didn't know how it happened, but it did happen. And we just think, oh, I was just um, at, the right, at the right place at the right time. But no, it's God who has guided us. It's God who brings that all in our, that into our lives. So this morning, God, we come to you with thanksgiving. We come to you wanting to meditate on how good you have been in our lives, Lord. Even the gift of life that you have given us, the gift of the community that you have brought around us, the gift of everybody who has said a word of encouragement to us, Lord. We can't take that for granted. We thank you, Lord, um, for that. We thank you that you have even given us that ability sometimes to discern that um, all what we need to do is to look at, at you and think of all the good things that you have done for us. Count our blessings, as we may say this mo morning. And um, our blessings may not only be material things, God. It is that just that spirit of peace and that spirit of knowing that you, God, are in control and you know what is happening to in our lives, and you'll take care of it, Lord. Thank you, God, for giving us that. Um, we uh, ask you to continue helping us um, in that. And we, as we have said, is that sometimes in that, um, when we are going through difficult times, we forget you, we forget to turn to you, Lord, and we think you don't care. So this morning, we just want us to, I want to ask you to remind us, to just keep on reminding us that you loved us past. We didn't love you. You loved us past. And you have done so much for us. You have sent your son to die for us. By his shedding his blood, Lord, you have um, saved us. Remind us that. Reveal that to us all the time when we are going through difficult times and we want to not think of you or um, not recognize you, your presence in our lives, Lord. Remind of that, last of that, God. And in that way, Lord, then we can live in that spirit of thanksgiving, living in that spirit of knowing that um, all circumstances, everything that happened in our lives, Lord, you are aware and you know. And um, though we may not understand it, it is beyond human understanding. You, Lord, know what it is, what what the cause of it is, and um, you'll give us the strength to handle it, and you bring give us the Holy Spirit to give us praise and strength as we go through those circumstances. Thank you, Jesus. We know of many people of faith who have gone through hard times, but you, God, have seen them through to the other side, and even though they doubted. Even though they questioned you, Lord, you, Lord, said that you had never seen that faith in them because they questioned you and then they accepted that, yes, Lord, you are Lord. 
you are king, you are our God and you know. And this morning, that, that's our posture, Lord. That's the posture we want to take, Lord. The posture of saying that you are our God. You know everything. All what we have to do, Lord, is to rely on you. All what we have, God, is to believe you. All what you have to, say, to do, Lord, is to acknowledge that you are God and you are able and you know. And even if the circumstances are hard, you, Lord, are the author of it all. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you for what you are and what you are doing and what you will continue doing in our lives. Sometimes it's just dark, but we know that you, Lord, are God of light. And when you come in with your light, all the darkness just vanishes, Lord. Yes, God, we thank you. We bless you. We continue giving you glory uh, because of what you are, because you are able. Because you have seen us through very, very difficult situations. And even when we are joyful, Lord, you are still with us. When we are sad, God, you are still with us. But remind us that when we are thankful, when we ask for that peace and strength, when we have that peace in our hearts, Lord, then you are honored. You are worshipped by our thanksgiving, by our peaceful posture. Thank you, Jesus, because you are able, because you have provided you'll provide and everything comes from you. We trust you because we know of your faithfulness. In all circumstances, we know that you are able. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God, because you are good. Amen and amen. Amen, indeed. He is faithful and his mercies are new every morning. He said in Lamentations um, chapter 3, verse 22. Uh, uh, Lamentations chapter 3, verse 23. Great is his faithfulness. His mercies begin afresh each morning. I say to myself, the Lord is my inheritance. Therefore, I will hope in him. The Lord is good to those who depend on him, to those who search for him. This is the Lord promise to all of us that He is faithful and He is with us. And you know, it's be the Lord is my inheritance with those who hope in Him. That's a very popular worship song. I just wanted to share. Great is thy faithfulness as we reflect. When we play this song, we reflect on you know, God's faithfulness and just as Sister Zipporah sh uh, shared, speak of thanksgiving. It's very, very hard to find things, you know, good things to give thanks to when we're in a difficult situation, when we're in a very tough situation, because all we look around is negativity. But when we focus on the positivity, the positive side, when we focus on who, who God is to us in the past, you know, He's Him being as father, him being your friend, him being your savior, your provider, your healer, your defender, you know, the one who loves, the one that's faithful. When you focus on this, then you will be able to speak out, you know, of the goodness that he has done uh, to you, to your family, you know, to those around you. Because God, when God bless His people, it's not for His children alone. He will bless you abundantly. That from you, it's overflowing. People that are around you will taste God's goodness. They will experience God, God's goodness through you. So just I'll uh, just share with you the song, um, the worship song. Great is thy faithfulness.
indeed, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your promise, that reminding us through you know the worship song. Um, great is thy faithfulness. Great is thy faithfulness, Lord. You have been faithful, despite the situation, um, ups and down in my life. You are there. You are faithful. We thank you, Lord, for the little things that you do in our life. Even, Lord, just the Thanksgiving, this ability to have dinner with our family when all comes back. When grown-up children, you know, um, our spouse, we all come together for a meal. And, Lord, even this simplicity, we give thanks to you because, Lord, you are the one that gathers the people home the family members home for a meal. Lord, let us let our lips not be silenced by the enemy and let our mind not be clouded by the worries of the world and the struggles that we go through each day that we forget to give thanks to the Lord. Lord, it may be very difficult to start off, but Lord, we know once we count our blessings, there is just so much. And we thank you, Lord. You know, even for those near miss accidents that we have, we thank you that you watch over us when we drive to work, when we drive our children to school and fro. Lord, your eyes are upon your children. You never leave us. You never um, are too far away from us. Your hands are there to protect us. Lord, just thank you, Lord, you know, for the people you put in our life. In different seasons, you bring different people to speak into our life. And we thank you for those spiritual mothers and fathers, uh, you know, big sisters and big brothers that you put around us, Lord, to carry us through each season, to make us grow stronger in our faith and to encourage us in our walk with you, Lord. Just so many things, little, little things that you do in my life. I thank you, Lord, you know, for health, whatever struggle we have in our health as we age, as our body gives way, our body becomes weak as we grow older. But Lord, I just give thanks to you that we can wake up in the morning. At this time, Lord, we sit here and we give thanks to you that we're able to be up and worshipping you and spending time at your, in your presence. Lord, nothing the enemy throws at us will be able to silence our lips because, Lord, we are created to worship you, to give you praise and to glorify your name. So, Lord, stir in our hearts, give us fresh breath, remind us, continue to remind our mind, remind us of the things that you have done that you have been with us through different seasons. Those times when we were afraid, when we go through exam seasons, when we think we are going to fail the paper, but Lord, you are with us. You will be there with us when we burn the midnight oil, when we don't sleep and we rush to do it aside, but you are there. So Lord, help us to remember the good times, the bad times that you are with us celebrating and rejoicing with us in good times and in bad times, Lord. You are with us. You cuddle us. You hug us and you wrap your arm around us and say that you are there with us. You are going to be with us. We go through this together. So I give thanks to you that, Lord, truly you are God that keeps your word, that says you never leave me and forsake me. And, Lord, you have kept that well. And Lord, help us to continue to just give you praise for the daily. Help us to have a habit of saying thank you to you every time we meet up with you, every time we have a chance to think, to speak to other people. What comes out from our mouth will be a thanksgiving of what the Lord has done in our life so people will see that we are a lover of Jesus. And everything we say, we are a thanksgiving person, a people with gratitude. And that changes the atmosphere of the things around us. So Lord, we are, 
you know, we can be life changer because you are a life changer in us and therefore you will use us to change lives that, you know, are out there in this world. We thank you, Lord. Just thank you, Lord. Whenever I think of your loving kindness, of your faithfulness, Lord, my heart is filled with so much joy that it just, you know, it, it just, it, it's like pouring, you know, of water into the cup. The more I give thanks to the Lord, the more that joy fills up the cup, the glass, and it's just bubbling and wants to overflow out. And then it is when you speak of, you know, about thinking about the good things that the Lord has done, you know, thinking about the times that He has been with you, the season that He has been with you, it really um, gives me so much joy and uh, excitement. I thank you, Lord, for this, so that, Lord, whatever happens, I will look into things in your perspective and not mine. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Amen. Amen. Amen and amen. Um, this morning as well, we want to place um everybody's uh, plans for the future, Lord. Thank you that you have given us a future. And then thank you, Lord, that you know of it. We know that is that future is you and it will be guided by you, Lord. All of us are making plans, Lord. All of us have ideas in our hands. And this morning, Lord, you want to place them onto your heart, Lord. Lord, guide us. Guide, guide each and every one of us in whatever they are planning for the future, Lord. We, you, we know that if you don't plan, you plan to fail. But we want to plan that which God is your will. So thank you, God, for giving us those desires to have those um, plans in our hearts. But you are trusting, God, that um, they are plans that are blessed by you, God. They are plans that are guided by you, Lord. Lord, this morning, let each, each one of every one of us who is listening and all the ones who listen to it later, as we think of what we have planned and what we are wishing for from you, God, let the first thing be your will, God. So God, help us that um, we, may, we may always turn to you in prayer before we put anything, um, we start anything, God. Let us remember to pray to you to guide us and to guide each and every step of what we are going to you to do, Lord. But yeah, and we trust that when we do that, then you shall speak to us. And whatever plans we make will be the ones that you want for us, Lord. Thank you, God, for our families and especially our elderly in our communities, Lord. Our parents, our aunties, who are in the last phases of their life, Lord. We know their minds are good and sometimes their bodies are giving up. But sometimes their uh, bodies are not giving up, but their minds are also are giving up. We ask you to help us as they, they are carers, Lord, so that we may have that patience to deal with them. Give us the strength as well um, to deal with the circumstances that are there in their lives, Lord, and give us the ability and the economic ability as well to help them in the last days of this life, Lord. Lord, you know everything comes from you. you. But you know you provide everything because everything is yours. And so we are trusting that you shall provide for us so that we can be able to take care of them because everything comes from you. Thank you, God, that you have already provided that because we have prayed for you. We have prayed to you, Lord, to help us. Thank you, thank you, Jesus, that you also give us that peace in the circumstance, in those circumstances when they do happen, because everything comes from you, Lord. Thank you for our families, God. Thank you for the interaction that we have with, with our families, Lord. 
Sometimes things don't go as smoothly as we would like. But we ask you, God, to always intervene, Lord. We know we love our families, but sometimes we like we lack the patience and understanding to accept people as they are and to give them space and to give you, Lord, to give you, you God, space so that you can um, talk to them, you can reveal your th- yourselves to them, Lord. Sometimes we try and use our human capabilities to try and fix the people you have um, given us in our family. But this morning, Lord, we want to um, come before you on our knees, Lord, to um, uh, ask you to forgive us, to forgive us for wanting to take your role in their lives, Lord. God, you are God. And you are the maker of everything. And you are the one who changed people, Lord. Lord, this morning we come to asking you to help us. Help us so that we may try not, we don't try to use our human abilities to try and manipulate and change the people around us. But God, that we may ask you for help and guidance so that whatever we talk, whatever we say, may be what you, God, have guided us to do. And so that in our families, we may stay at peace, Lord. And because you have said that um, you provide the peace. But as Lord, sometimes we um, don't accept it. This morning, that's what we are embracing. We are embracing that peace. So that in all our, our circumstances, we may be peaceful. We may be accepting. We may be knowing that you, God, are in control because you are able. Thank you, God, for the people um, you have brought around us, our blood family and our spiritual family as well, God. You've brought them around us for our purpose, Lord, and we embrace it. And But guide us, Lord, so that um, we may not mi- be misled. Let the people that you have brought around us be people who um, guide us so that we get closer to you, so that our relationship with you may be stronger. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, Jesus, because you are a provider. You provide our needs even before we know we have them, Lord. We come with them, humble hearts, Lord. We come um, with open hearts, Lord, ready to listen to what you have um, to, to speak to us about, ready to receive what you have um, for us, Lord. You are a neighbor, God. Everything belongs to you, and we shall not need God. You, um, we are, you are our shepherd, Lord. We shall in this life we shall not need because you shall provide. You are a faithful God. You are a good God. We bless you. We praise you, and you know that you'll hear. You always hear us. You always um guide us when we ask you for for help. You always give us that peace when we need it. And this morning we are coming with thanksgiving and accepting all that that you have provided for us. Because sometimes we know it out there, but we do not embrace it. We don't open our hearts so that you can feel them. Lord, this morning, that's what we are doing. We are opening our hearts, Lord so that you may fill us with that peace, that you may fill us with that strength, and you may fill us with that um, wisdom and discernment, so that we may know how to cope with the circumstances around us. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you that you are able. Thank you that um, you are who you are in, in our lives. You are the king of our lives. And we, we trust in you. Amen and amen. It's not just thank you, Lord. And even as Sister Zipora was praying about elderly, um, you know, people in our life, so Lord reminded me of the uh, also this elderly um worker, ministry leaders, or those who once you know serve as missions out there, and now they have they are in their golden years. 
maybe not forget them, the labor that they have done for the Lord. Some of these people may, may be single because they dedicated their entire life serving the Lord, or they have no children, they are married but with no children. Um, we just want to remember, Lord, for these old elderly people, that Lord, even as they body age, as they have passed the age of serving you, and now they may be too weak to serve. Lord, I pray you will bring about people, your family, spiritual family, that will surround these people, and to acknowledge of their work, you know, in serving the Lord. And in the older golden years, they are not forgotten. That we will remember. We may know of some leaders, people who have impacted your life. Could be your previous Sunday school teacher. Could be just any of those your old past your pastors previously and now retired and aging. Um Lord, we just ask for your grace and mercy be upon this your lead, your 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 servants that has served you faithfully in their younger days and now in their retirement in old age. Lord, we ask that Lord they will know that they are not forgotten. We pray that they will not they will never feel abandoned. They may not have their biological families to to be with them, but Lord, the body of Christ will provide all that they need in physical and practical needs and will, and will care for them in their old age. That Lord, that they may know they serve a good God who that did not forget them. And we thank you for all their youth, the youth that they have, that you know, in their young days they have given up it all, given their very best in serving you. And so in their old age now, we ask that Lord, you will help us as the family to provide their practical needs, to comfort them, to help them, you know, to, to, to share with them, to remind them of your God, your goodness. Lord, if their memory is poor, then you help us to remind them, Lord, that they will continue to be rejoicing despite, you know, their age, despite their situation, they will rejoice even in their retirement years. Thank you, Lord, for this servant that has served you faithfully, Lord. We bless them, Lord. Thank you, Lord. And so, as we come to an end um, of our time, we just want to um, yeah, re um, say grace. And, you know, uh, may the grace of the Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. I bless all of you. It's the first it's a Monday, the first uh, for those who are the, the kids are going to school, it's the first day of the week to go to school and, and some of us are back to work if we have had the weekend off. So may the Lord go before before you and be with you and Lord, the Lord will show you, um, you know, his presence will be real um, in everything that you do that you'll be more sensitive of his whereabouts and we meet again on Wednesday, same time online. So may God bless you and you know, try talk to him and you will be blessed. Thank you everyone. See you again on Wednesday. Bye.